Hey, hi, this is Christine Crowell here and welcome to the channel. And I just want to ask you a simple question. Wouldn't you like to know how you can make $86,000 plus a month by starting a healthcare agency? And this is for beginners. Maybe you've got a home care agency already and you feel as if you've hit the glass ceiling you feel as if you've gone as far as you can go because running a home care service is multitask it's like you're an octopus you're basically doing all different types of shifts but what if you could introduce this model and that is by you having a healthcare staffing agency so this is for beginners as well as for those that are seasoned healthcare professionals that have got a care business that wants to take their business to the next level because we want to grow, right? We want to 10x our business and this is the formula which I'm going to share with you today and I'm so excited. So let's delve in, shall we? Right, so now we've got that out the way. So let's look at your healthcare staffing what range of specialities, specialisms can you provide? What niches can you look at when you're looking at meeting the diverse needs of healthcare facilities? So I'm going to go through a list of various niches within the healthcare staffing industry. And this is my book here, which is called We Will Love You From a Distance. And this is what I created when it was 2020, when we was going through the covid Era, and it is for carepreneurs supercharging the post-COVID care sector. And it's by me, Christine Blackledge Crowd. As you can see, there's a photo of here. And I created this book because I wanted people to really look at what it is that they can achieve. And if we're given so much time working for someone else, imagine what we can do for ourselves. And this book, it was to, I created it to awaken carepreneurs to look at other aspects because as we know with home care back then, a lot of people, they lost their jobs, hours went down. There's a lot of things that happened as well as lives were lost as well. And we pray for those lives that was lost. And we're, we're trying to look at now, it's 2024, okay? What else can I incorporate into my healthcare business that's going to bring in an additional revenue that is not going to create stress, that is not going to complicate things, that's going to make things a lot easier for you. So I'm going to explain in this video and before I do I'd like you to like and subscribe once you've listened to the video and if it's something that you've enjoyed like and subscribe hit the notification button so that you can get further update trainings from me as well so going back into this so what impact do you want to make on the healthcare staffing industry do you want to dominate the healthcare space do you want to impact the staffing industry and earn 86k plus a month now, I'm going to go into this. This is not something you're going to boom, just suddenly happen. It can take a year. It can take two years, for example, and it's realistic. It is achievable, providing that you put in the hard work. Now, this may not be for everyone. If you have not got the right energy, the right level, the right determination, the right commitment, the strength, the, the focus, the determination then this possibly is not for you. You need to have a certain energy level to run a healthcare business. It is not easy, but it is rewarding because you're helping to impact people's lives for the greater good. So I just wanted to, you know, touch base on that. So if it's something that you want to do, you want to impact the staffing industry and earn 86K plus a month, then you can either do permanent placements where you're placing staff permanently into organizations and then they're paying you a commission. Or you can do temporary agency where you're placing staff for a shift that could be for one hour up to 12 hours at a time, for example, but they're te temporary staff and you actually 
pay them. Whereas with the permanent placement, you're not paying them, the organization is paying them, and they're giving you an agency fee, a commission, for example. But imagine if you was to combine both of them, it would give you a multiple seven figure business, for example, with the right determination. Okay, this isn't for everybody. If you're not, you know, if you're not self-driven, you're not self-led, you don't have that energy, that commitment, and that brain, that mindset to be able to make this happen, then it's not for you. You can just stop watching now. But if it's for you, continue to watch because I'm going to tell you a few things that is going to help benefit you for when you are making a decision as to whether you want to go into starting a healthcare staffing, medical staffing business, because you may already have a home care business and it's, you know, reached its plateau and you feel you can't get any further with it, then look at doing this, okay? So you can combine temp and perm staffing together, okay? So there's lots of positions that you can be providing staff for and that is nursing. This includes, you know, RNs, for example, licensed LPNs, for example, and P's, for example, certified nurses assistants, for example, CNAs, and various specialized nursing roles such as critical care, nursing, labor, midwifery, delivery nurses, for example, psychiatric nurses. There's so many different things you can do. In my book here, which I have here, I discuss that there's about 50 types of healthcare agency services businesses that you can do my book is on amazon and that i will have a link here for you to have a look at that as well it's on kindle as well as hard copy as well so let's delve into it so you could even look at doing subcontracting with other organizations create a partnership organizations you want to be able to have long term term growth you don't want that short snap you know, quick fix thing. You want long-term growth. You want a commitment. You want a long-term relationship because like with any relationships, you want them to be long-term so that it's fulfilling and lasting and it's respectful on both sides, for example. So look at subcontracting, creating partnerships with organizations to create long-term growth as well. But you got to have that energy. you got to feel excited. you got to feel committed. And you've got to be level-headed and communicate effectively. You could offer physicians, that is doctors, locums, for example. And they can also look at various specialities such as family medicine, internal medicine, surgery, pediatrics. The list is endless. Uh, gynecology, psychiatrists, mental health, for example, doctors, um, anesthesia, Zia, radiology, cancer care, for example. So, but I want you to take one step at a time. You can't do everything. So try and pick about three things that you feel that resonates with you that's going to really impact your business as well. So go where the flow is and find the niche. So look at where the need is and then you offer that service. No point just doing what you feel you want to do. It's got to be something that is in the, the need is there and it's so great. And try and look for the higher margin ones as well. So that it's going to incorporate with what you're doing already. If your business is already up and running and established. You may want to look at doing IT, going into the IT care industry, providing IT staff into Hospitals, for example, looking at the cyberspace, protecting their um, information, for example. So what is it else that you could do? You could look at wellness programs. They're really popular now. You can be a coach offering wellness programs. And it's so important because it's all part of what where we are today. After, after what we've been through the last previous years with COVID, etc. It's opened up our minds to wellness, self-care, self-love. So maybe you could create a wellness or do programs. What programs or skills do you have? I can help you with that because I've created multiple hundreds of programs as well. 
What about a providing healthcare insurance? Maybe you want to do that instead. Maybe you don't want to offer staff members and just offer healthcare insurance because there's lots of organizations that need healthcare insurance, business insurance. That's where you're providing an uh, organization. You could be a middleman. You could be an insurance broker, for example. Maybe you want to offer medical devices, for example. You could get contracts for that as well. But try to get three roles at a time to build your healthcare business. Don't try and do everything all at once, like I said. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is healthcare. Looking at allied healthcare professionals, this category involves a diverse range of healthcare professionals who work collaboratively with uh, physicians, nurses, for example. So they could be medical assistants, they could be respiratory therapists, physical, uh, sorry, physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech language, dietitian, radiologists, medical laboratories, phlebotomy, surgical te technologists, cardiovascular technologists, uh, diagnostic medical sonographers, medical social workers. You could even be a medical legal nurse, for example. You could be a coach in that as well. Pharmacy, they need you as well. So think about what type of healthcare staffing business that you want to do. Maybe you want to offer uh, locums. Maybe you want to offer travel nurses, for example. You could do perm-dem staffing. And this involves providing healthcare professionals on a perm-dem as needed on a basis that covers shifts or fills temporary staffing gaps. Maybe you want to do home health care. This involves providing skilled health care services to patients in their own homes, service users in their own homes, including nursing care, therapy services, and home health aid assistance. Maybe you want to do telehealth services. With the growing popularity in telemedicines, we really need to look at going into this. As a staffing agency, you may want to specialize in providing healthcare professionals who deliver care remotely via telehealth services. This need is great as well. Maybe you also want to look at healthcare IT staffing. This niche focuses on providing IT professionals with expertise in healthcare systems to help you with electronic health records, health information management, and other healthcare technology solutions, like making sure that the servers are protected, that it's um, being um, protected from hacks and, and things like that, where people can take your data and use them for the role. Maybe you want to offer biological, um, sorry, not biological, maybe you want to offer um, behavioral health. This involves staffing professionals specializing in mental health and substance misuse, for example. And this could be including uh, psychotherapists, uh, psychologists, social workers, counselors, and therapists, for example. You may want to provide staff in correctional facilities like prisons, for example, specializing in healthcare professionals to work in those facilities. How can you stand out in the crowd? Maybe look at working in uh, providing staff to secure units, for example. You could look at uh, psychiatric care, for example. And there's so many different things that you could do. Elderly care, children's service, pediatric care, for example, providing specialist staff to hospitals that deal with young children, young adults, for example. So what is it that you feel that you will be able to do? So I'm going to break this down. Now, if you're looking at providing permanent staff members, then you can look at getting, say, for example, a, a basic of 20%. So imagine if you place uh, one or two nurses a month, for example, and in, in America, nurses get paid, say, up to 100 grand, for example. In the UK, it's 37 to 45,000, 50,000, 60,000 a year. So look at that 20% based on that. 
So if I was to place, I'm going to go average in the middle here. If I was to place a nurse at 60,000 a year to, to a hospital and I was getting 20%, that's 12,000 a month. I times that by two, by placing two nurses a month permanently, that's 24,000 a month. Times that by 12, that's 288,000 a month. Just That's just part time. Now, if you was to add it into the mix, doctors, for example, then you would easily double that. Okay, so say 500,000 a year or 700,000 a year, for example. Then if you're looking at placing temporary workers and your margins are, say, for example, you're getting, say, 15, $15 an hour, for example, and you're providing so many hours a week. Then you could look at getting yourself, say, 300,000, 400,000 a year, which will quite easily bring you over the 86,000 a month target. You could quite easily get into 1.5 million a year. Now, I'm not saying you're going to do this in your first year because you've got to work through things in a gradual manner. So, within a year or two, it's achievable to put yourselves on multiple seven figures. If you was to follow that type of system where you are providing permanent as well as temporary staff, you combine them together and you're doing home care, then look at that. You could actually, you know, be on two million to four million a year, for example, after so many years of doing this effectively, consistently and making sure that you are providing the highest caliber of staff. So are you with me with what I've said so far? We have got our training tomorrow and we're gonna start, we do training every week anyway in our Facebook group, as well as I'm gonna share it here on YouTube as well. I hope that you'll be able to join me. Like and subscribe if you've liked what I've said. Do get a notepad and paper out as well. Make some notes, watch back. And, and get the book here. It tells you about, you know, looking at all the different chapters here. I've got focus on career prosperity, just giving you some information here. Healthcare professional bodies, just going into that. I also talk about the different types of, for example here, how healthcare workers can be business owners. And then I talk about the niche business ideas and I'll go through them here briefly patient transport telecare virtual care business care agency for example recruitment care agency image diagnostics healthcare mobile apps you can provide business in terms of recruitment healthcare software online pharmacy healthcare digital marketing services Healthcare blogger you could become. Medical transport, trans, transcription service. You could be a legal legal nurse, for example. The, the list is endless. You can see here. The book, like I said, it's on Amazon. It's called We Will Love You From A Distance. I will put the link here in the YouTube as well for you to have a look on Amazon and purchase it. You can get the Kindle version or you can get the hard cup the hard copy as well. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's training because I want you to think about how you can make multiple seven figures running a healthcare business, whether you're doing home care or whether you're combining home care with medical staffing, for example, perm and temp, combine them all together. And then you've got a really good, strong business model. Now, I'm not saying you consume all of it at once. You pick one and you build on another. So within that year, you're doing three things simultaneously and you're running them like clockwork. It's going to take hard work and determination. You've got to love what you do and it will work for you. But you've got to put the work in because if you don't put the work in, then it's not going to work for you. Okay, so I hope that you've enjoyed today's training. I will look to see you tomorrow on our further trainings. Listen out for more training videos as well that I'm doing on a regular basis. I plan to be coming here on YouTube at least 
five times a week, for example, for you to get as much training as possible so that you're getting a good outline of what it is that you want to do. Our training tomorrow is really covering the outlines of running a medical staffing agency, for example, because you need to understand what's involved in running a healthcare business. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's training and I hope that you've looked at those breaking down each one that you want to do and which one is going to be beneficial for you because it has to fit in with your lifestyle. No point in trying to do something and it's not going to fit in with your lifestyle. You need to pick something which is going to be easy for you to grasp and for you to really get to understand it and get strong with that before you move on to the next type of healthcare business that you want to do. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's training, everyone. It's been wonderful seeing you all. Take care. Thank you so much. Goodbye.